You know that right now is the peak season for West Nile virus. Our house doctor, Lisa Quinn, has tips on how you can protect yourself and your family from mosquito bites and the virus. West Nile virus was first discovered in upstate New York in 2003. Okay, so it's new, relatively. Well, it's relatively new, but when you consider it was discovered in upstate New York in 2003, which is the opposite side of the country completely, right. Today, it is in every single state in the United States. It's like you've got a cold or a flu, you might feel a bit weak, and most of us have good immune systems. Unless we're really ill, we're not going to really feel it. But people who have a, a immune systems a little bit weak, maybe, maybe they already have a cold, old. they're young or older, um, they're the people that could really be endangered by West Nile virus. If you have mosquitoes near where you live, they're breeding close by, they don't travel very far. Right. So you can be sure that if you dig around a little bit, you're going to find the source of where they're breeding. Well, we're in a backyard right now and we've got this fountain going. It's actually not going, so it's technically stagnant water. I know right. a lot of people have ponds in their backyard. That's probably not a great thing. Well, w there's a big problem right now with standing water, particularly given the property market right now. There's a lot of homes in foreclosure, a lot of people have moved out, there's swimming pools that don't have their filters sure. going fountains, standing water features, and these are the perfect breeding grounds for mosquitoes. There's also little things you were telling me about. If you got kids, you're probably going to have toys like if these lying around in your backyard. All you need is half of this frisbee filled with water from rain or from having a sprinkler going in the yard, and a mosquito will breed in that within a week. More than ever, people are realizing that they don't want to put chemicals on their skin. So they're really looking for alternatives to spraying themselves with a product containing DEET. Don't get me wrong, DEET is actually a product that works. It's okay. a, it was invented by the US military in the 1940s and it's the same product that it was in the 1940s except it melts plastic, it melts rubber, it melts nylon. That sort of stuff isn't good to put on your kids. I can't imagine. So there are other options that you can use um, ranging from essential oils. You can, you can locate essential oils such as tea tree oil, mm -hmm. citronella oil, uh, eucalyptus oil, and put those onto a, like a, if you carry a handkerchief like I do, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can put them on a bandana or a handkerchief and just keep them, put it around your neck if you're outside gardening. So like your own personal little sachet. Absolutely. You just put it in your pocket as or around As long as the neck. smell is strong enough to keep the mosquitoes uh, up from finding you, because okay. mosquitoes work on, on scent and they can pick your scent up from 100 feet away. You don't go and put perfume on. You don't put hairspray on. Mosquitoes can pick that up as well, and they're drawn to that. Um, you stay away from those sort of cosmetic products with a strong perfume fragrance. For centuries, people have actually grown plants, from citronella plants to lemongrass plants to geranium plants, and they've had little pot plants sitting at their windows or at a table and they've kept the mosquitoes away or the bugs away. Mm -hmm. So it's up to your personal preferences of the type of smell that you want coming from the plant. Right. But generally, again, if that plant is releasing a, a smell that can mask you from mosquitoes, mm -hmm. that's a good way to go as well. Tell us about this product and, and how, it, how it works and what it does. It looks like a little flag. Well, well, first of all, what I did was I took my own advice and I found a combination of essential oils that was proven effective in repelling mosquitoes disease carrying mosquitoes because there are different species of mosquitoes oh. and many of the household mosquitoes don't carry disease. This is made for indoors or outdoors and it releases the scent of citronella geranium lemongrass and That's it's strong it enough so yeah and it's strong enough to keep mosquitoes away for up to 300 square feet and this was tested at UC Davis. Oh so everybody's saying this works yeah. that's great. So that's one of the products that we have. Now you also gave me a wristband when we first got here that I've put on. This that's is the same kind of thing? That's exactly the same material, exactly the same formula. And what I've done is impregnated a wristband with it. And as you can see, when you're wearing it, it kind of looks like the, the cause wristbands that exactly. people wear. So it's very hip. There is nothing chemical in this that's going to harm them. So it uses EPA and FDA compliant materials and ingredients. So Joseph, where can people find these? You can buy Bug Bam products, it's Bug Bam, B-A-M for Mary, um, at Walgreens, Walmart, and you can buy it online at bugbam.com. 